आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ हेलो एवरी वन लेटन Explain briefly how these rules are justified. Let's solve the question. So the first Kirchhoff's rule that we have is called the junction rule. Now we can also call this the Kirchhoff's current law. So the junction rule or the Kirchhoff's current law states that at any junction, the sum of currents entering the junction is equal to the sum of currents leaving the junction. So in words, the algebraic sum in this case algebraic sum of current entering the junction is equal to the algebraic sum of currents leaving the junction of current leaving the junction so what does this mean it means if we assume a circuit and then we assume a node a node is a point where a node or a junction is a point where or one or more wires meet so in the circuit diagram if you assume a node then the sum of current that is entering the junction coming towards the node let's let's assume the current entering the junction is i and then this will be equal to the sum of current leaving the junction so if we assume a three way node the current i enters the junction and then splits into i1 and i2 so the algebraic sum of i will be equal to i1 plus i2 So how do we justify this? We justify it with the law of conservation of charge. So justification is the law of conservation of charge. So what does the law of conservation of charge says that in a system the total charge is constant. That means charges can never be created nor be destroyed. All right, conservation of charge. So the next rule, Kirchhoff's rule, we have is known as the loop rule, or we also call it as Kirchhoff's voltage law. So the loop rule or Kirchhoff's voltage law states that the algebraic sum of potential in a closed loop is equal to the potential drop across the loop. So the algebraic sum of potential this would mean the potential sources like the like a cell or a battery potential across a loop is equal to the algebraic sum of potential drops in the loop sum of potential drops across the loop. so what does this mean now before we understand this potential drop occurs anywhere that has resistance so any component uh, like a resistor inductor capacitor etc any component that has resistance accounts for potential drop so there is potential drop across any component that has resistance and potential sources like battery and cell so the algebraic sum of the potential difference across the loop is uh, like Uh, assuming we have a 5 volt battery connected to a resistor then the algebraic sum of the potential which is 5 will be equal to the algebraic sum of potential drops now potential drop occurs around the resistor so there is a 5 volt of potential drop across the resistor so the potential drop will be equal to the algebraic sum of potential across a loop how do we justify this so the justification is that we use the law of conservation of energy what does the law of conservation of energy state it states that the total energy in a system is constant that means energy in a system can neither be created nor be destroyed it can just be converted to one form to another so conservation of energy so the justification for current and voltage law same almost similar and that's because we talk the, there is conservation in both the cases uh, when we talk about current we talk about moving charges that that is why we justified using the conservation of charges and where potential difference is actually energy so we dis- justify with the conservation of energy so with this we can conclude our answer therefore kirchhoff's rules are stated and 
जस्टिफाइड थैंक यू क्लास सिक्स टू ट्वेल्थ से लेके नीट आई आई टी जेई मेन्स और एडवांस के लेवल तक दस मिलियन से ज्यादा स्टूडेंट्स का भरोसा आज ही डाउनलोड करें डाउट नेट आप या व्हाट्सएप कीजिए अपने डाउट्स आठ चार सौ चार सौ चार सौ पर